and my Bluetooth headset is all distorted. Just went distorted there a while ago, or yesterday, halfway through the day. And um, it's been that way ever since. It's a bit of Barry White to uh, bring me through the mountains, but it looks like we're all good again, which is awesome. The adventure continues. Nothing but hugging all the uh, all the fjords, uh, lovely rolling roads, uh, speed limit's 80. Not as warm as yesterday. It's a bit cloudy. I think it might be rain tomorrow. Still having this issue here, but I'm hoping I can just push on. I'm. An hour and ten from the next town, big town. I'm gonna to stop there at a garage and uh, just check it out again. I might see can I find somewhere to plug it in for about 20 minutes, and I'm gonna ring the local uh, Hardy Davidson dealer in Bremen. But uh, according to Google, they close at two o'clock. But I don't know whether that is just the, the clothing department or the service department. And they're not open till tomorrow, or not open till Monday. So it's just really poxy. I don't want to waste another day sitting around in a town. Anyway, the joys of uh, the joys of doing something like this. Every bike has its issues, as we found out last week. I'm just laying off the clutch as much as I can and keep the revs high. Just see this. I get some. Uh, Juice into the battery. I'm not a mechanic, so I have no idea. But... Graphic uh, resolution ship. I think I watched a documentary on that before going to the Arctic uh, Circle, the, the North Pole. Yeah, the resolution. picturesque I like a like a postcards and I feel like we should be singing a sound of music now my headset's not working and um, I still have this issue uh, the dealer doesn't there's no technicians in the dealer today I think the bike's gonna start just fine. Um, there's no one, no technicians in. There's no technicians in the dealer, and they close at two o'clock. I'd never get there, and they're not open till Monday. So there's a campsite in Bergen, but it means I'm stuck there tomorrow. So two nights in Bergen. Um, I was hoping to get to the Stav Church, but I think I just I might run the risk of going to the Stav Church, and then. I have to go back up north to go to the dealer so I might just um I might just head to the next town and see how it goes. So let's see do we uh let's see do we start. I'm changing over my gloves because it is cold. Okay. It kind of puts a bit of a dampener because I wanna stop and take some pictures and put the drone up. But um I'm wary that I might get the bike going if I do so, but uh, you know, there's not what breakdown recovery is for. There's nothing I can do. I'm not. I'm not gonna let the it niggle. It could be just be a faulty sensor for all I know. You know, like everything seems to be working fine. Anyway, I just keep going. So I uh, pulled over to this uh, garage um, just outside the last town, and. Um, I pulled up beside a, uh, a, a Hoover that I figured would be plugged in and I went in and asked them could I plug the bike in so they've been very kind and um, 
let me plug the bike in. So I was just going to take a break and they gave me free coffee. So that was really nice of her. And I'm um, just going to plug it in. It's already gone green. So either the crank value of the battery or the crank value of the battery is bollocks on the bike or it's the stator and the stator's not holding charge at a certain revage. Um, yeah. What can I do? So I've been here about um, about 45 minutes. I think I've got the bike plugged in. Uh, it's gone green on the larger 5 amp charger, and it's, there's no repair being done. I don't know if it's a faulty sensor or um, I don't know whether it's a faulty sensor or you know I've got a problem with the bike not charging the battery. Or it could be the battery. You know, the best case scenario, it's the battery. But they're fairly simple to replace in terms of if it's not the battery it could be the stator and um, which is obviously that's pretty much the end of that i doubt i'm going to be able to walk into a harley davidson dealer and say oh i need a new stator and they're going to just go oh we've loads of them on the shelf considering most of the most of the harley davidson dealers don't see many of these up here and anyway well that's what they tell me so yeah i kind of had to sacrifice the staff church but uh to be honest with you i really didn't fancy going over any more mountains it's just um yeah i kind of had enough i'm kind of feeling a bit homesick i miss my family i've been on the road for over two weeks and uh, I don't need this, so I'm feeling, feeling pretty fucking shitty, to be honest. Um, really, really nice shop. I, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name. I'll figure it out and just stick it on the screen. Uh, the girl here was super nice. So yeah, it's like owning a, it's like owning a fucking electric vehicle, having to fucking plug it in. Anyway. We'll see, did that make any difference? No, not really. That's not good. Uh oh. Yeah, that drops below 12, it's just gonna conk out. And my fear is I'm gonna conk it out on a fucking hill. Hmm. What to do? Christ The dealer rang me back, fortunately they're not open till Tuesday, so shit just gets better. I'm just so fed up, I just want to fucking go home. I don't even want to put the fucking grill on, I don't give a shit. Oh, 
fucking ride the fucking bike. No check engine lights, I've no codes, I've no nothing. Stop staring at a fucking voltage button. I swear to God, I'm just gonna get some fucking tape and put it over it. Because I really, really want to fucking enjoy this. Look at that. Ah, the fucking tunnels. Thomas, I swear to God, you'd come here, you'd end up blowing up your fucking exhaust. Potato, 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 potato. Why are they all so fucking dark and fucking dark? Oh, it's disgusting. Why do you guys look your fucking stuff? Oh, hey, look, it's, it's another tunnel. to get home in comfort this is a car tire job thing look at that that's hardcore shit We have about seven more tunnels to bloody go through. And uh, the big shop guy pulled in the garage up there, so I'm expecting him to go past me at about 200 miles an hour. Oh, my ears. Has to be a place to pull over somewhere. No? All right. 4.1 kilometer tunnel. Let's go. I reckon this one goes up then. 4.1 kilometer tunnel and uh, it's just going up and up and up and up and up and up and up. Oh, it's two lanes. Oh shit, Jesus. Oh, 
almost need a drink of water after every tunnel. And this is the fun thing about owning the Pan American, that yeah, the battery's okay. Oh, what a fucking adventure bike. Bike has mysterious ways. You know, <coughs> you know. Sometimes you just think that um, these things happen for a reason. Something was, something was telling me to get off the mountain. You know, maybe that's what it was. And it, it's just a sign of this entire trip. When something goes wrong, I have to change plan or do something different. It's almost as if someone is telling me and that person would be my son. So it's like, yo dad, you don't want to do that. Not on your own. So, he'll take it. I'm going to chance this campsite about an hour away. Uh, on a slim picking sound here. It's uh, starting to get a bit. <clears throat> it's starting to get a bit late. So and we'll rock on. Oh, sure. Why would you fucking do your job either? What a day. not many campsites um, there's very few campsites in and around the town um, by the time I got here I rang two other ones I got to this one and I'll show you now in a second um, I rang the number in reception and he says uh, oh the campsite for tents is across the road now uh, the campsite looks fine or like the where the camper vans and all that are but he said <laughs> you can put the bike across the road you'll be fine or you can camp across the road and I was like where the picnic tables are he's like yeah so I went over to have a look and um not a not a not a hope like this is the road down it's like the back of an industrial saying there's cars coming up and down it and um yeah I just didn't feel safe so I 
I rang another one. So I stole my fucking shoe. I rang another one and got no answer. And then I rang another one, which is 30. Another, another, it's only 30 kilometers away, but it'll take me over an hour to get to it. Because back up in the mountains, man, I, I'm kind of done. I want to keep going south. So, uh, yeah, I kind of, I rang him back and um, I said, look, I said, can I not just pitch over where there's free spots for the camper vans? And he went, no, he goes, they're all booked up because there's people coming um, for the Norwegian holiday. It's the it's like a bank holiday weekend here. And um, that's why the dealer rang me back and told me they were closed on Monday, which means I would have been stuck till Tuesday. And that's two days just wasted. So I ended up just asking for a cabin. I really didn't want to. Um, but the, the camping was 29 euro because it's 15 kilometers away from a massive city. Um, and the cabin was, uh, the cabin worked out at 49 euro. And it's got power. There was no power over there. And I had no power last night. So I'm down to like my last GoPro battery. And I really need to, I need to charge up the drone. And I have my helmet and all that. So I can kind of really only go for a day without power. So um, yeah, I'm uh, slumming it in a, ca in, in a cabin. It's, it's all right. It's, uh, I picked the one behind reception, the, the kind of like the, the most hidden one. Um, just because I'm in a, I'm in a main city. So uh, I walked to the shop to get this and treat myself to an ice cream. Oh, oh no. My first bottle of Coke in, in absolute months. So anyway, I'll show, I'm walking back down. I'll show you where you want me to go. That's the campsite. It's, it's, it's all right, like it's nice enough. And then, where the four picnic benches are, across the main road, beside the industrial unit, is where the, uh, the tent's going. There's nobody over there. Like if there was a couple of other people there, I'd be like, I'd be fine, and it's beside a stream, and it's uh, it's it's covered in midges, and um, yeah, I just had a really shit day today, and you know, sometimes you just got to tap out. I really didn't want to, but uh, I need to formulate a plan because I missed out on a couple of, I missed out on one other thing I wanted to see. It's too far north, it's too far in and up, and um, you know it just takes forever to get to these places. So um, yeah, this is this is me tonight. A lovely man. He was in the middle of fixing his car, so he sent his daughter down. Uh, she's Romanian, and uh, she's never met an Irish man before. So I was quite nice to meet that and say hello to her. So um, yeah, I'm managing to get everything charged up. It's just going to take a while because I only have one adapter. I can't use my four-way plug, but. Um, you know, we'll just get shit done, just get through it. So uh, I just need to figure out what I'm doing now. So anyway, welcome to uh, Bergen. Uh, I think it's called the Bergen campsite. I'll put the description on the screen there. I've had many, many problems this trip, but um, I think this is the most serious one. I'm out of coffee. There's so much crap in here, I didn't realize that I was low, and now I've got none. So, um, yeah, fuck it, it's over. <laughs>